Video number 80. understand is why the method for dealing with the wolves was crying. Why didn't they have that kid armed? Locked and loaded? I'm just saying, a gunshot would have got somebody's attention. But yeah, Jay, I'm not really sure who's in the wrong here. On the one hand, I feel like the kid was kind of asking for it. But on the other hand, who hires a kid to do such a wolf-intensive job? We may be reading into this just a little too much. I feel certain that back in the old days when the elders would try to bestow knowledge onto the young'uns, they would take that for what it is. A life lesson. And probably not walking away from the powwow over analyzing the man's message. As we've done here. Ah, but those were simpler times. But today I want to talk about something that is much less simple and something that I believe to be insanely awesome the Red Bull Stratos Project. Now, if you haven't already heard of this project, essentially what they are doing is attempting to go skydiving from the edge of space. We're talking about 120,000 feet above Earth. That's 22.7 miles. Felix Baumgartner is the badass pegged with this job, and during his free fall, he could potentially break the speed of sound, which at 100,000 feet is 690 miles per hour. Now, if he matches that speed, Felix will be traveling at what is referred to as Mach 1. And if he exceeds that speed, the man will be supersonic! And now I know what you're all thinking. Ben, he can't possibly travel that fast. There's terminal velocity! Terminal velocity is actually a common term in the world of skydivers, and basically what it refers to is the point at which air resistance and drag prevents you from accelerating downward any faster. But because Felix and the Stratos team is going from such a high elevation where the air is thinner, it will actually be possible for him to exceed these speeds. But Jay, what I really think we need to take away from this is that a man who is not traveling in a fighter jet could potentially be traveling at supersonic speeds, and that is incredible! Jay, this is really what gets me so excited about who we are in the age that we live in, and I think with all the political political crap that's been going around all over the place lately is just the reason why I got sucked into this project and I'm so interested in it. And to me, Jay, this is a prime example of what I feel like people should be doing with their lives. And that's not to say that I think that everybody should be striving to jump out of a hot air balloon from the edge of space. But what I'm saying is I feel like everybody should be pushing the envelope on whatever matters to them. Ah, <sighs> good stuff. Anyway guys, this event will actually be live at 8 a.m. Sunday morning. I'll put the link in the towel section below. I really encourage everybody to check it out. And Jay, that's all I've got for you today, brother. End video.